Hello there, Master Hanish here, and I am once again in the shed. I'm just about to go in, do a bit of clearing out, but I wanted to catch up on some recent space developments. So one of the things that I'm interested in, as well as computer gaming and programming and coding and all that sort of stuff, is space and space exploration. I'm not by any means an expert, but I, I do like to look into it. I enjoy space games like Kerbal Space Program. And um, last night was the first test of the Crew Dragon uh, spacecraft, which was um, it's fantastic. I mean, it's still going on now, technically. Um, the launch was last night. Uh, that went without a hitch, as, as expected, but there's a lot of cool stuff that's going to be coming up. Um, it's been over a year since we saw Falcon Heavy do its first test when put that roaster into... Uh, I believe it was a highly eccentric orbit around the sun that was to go past Mars and out towards the asteroid belts. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing some of the stuff that's coming up because Falcon Heavy is due to come back with two more launches this year at least, I think. Um, I haven't had a look at the full schedule, but there are a couple coming up in the next few months, so I'm really looking forward to that. I'm also really looking forward to uh, seeing more of the Crew Dragon because after this test, I believe there's going to be an abort test. And I don't know exactly how SpaceX and NASA are planning that, but basically the top bit of the rocket, the actual Crew Dragon module itself, has eight mot rocket motors on it. And in the event of a rapid unplanned disassembly of the main rocket, i.e. an explosion, those motors fire, pull in the crew capsule to safety, the parachutes deploy and it just lands somewhere, usually in the sea, um, due to the way that they go out. They go out off the coast over the water, so that's where they'll land, which is where it's pl um, planned to land anyway. Um, and they're going to test that. Now, they've tested the unit by itself, dangling from a cable, and they've tested it straight off the launch pad into the water. But they're testing it on the top of a Falcon 9. And I think they're going to blow it up. I think they're going to put a Falcon 9 rocket on the launch pad, launch it up, and press a big, fat red button somewhere. And that, to me, I know... <laughs> No, that's not what space flight is about. It's, space flight is about more about the advancements in technology, the advancements of humanity, discovery, and all that sort of thing. But I love to think, see things blow up as well, especially when it's planned. So it's going to be really interesting to see that. And I don't know if that's exactly what they're going to do. I don't know if they're going to do that or whether they're going to manually fire the abort motors and then just let the rocket drop into the ocean or whatever. But if they do blow it up, that would be brilliant to see. Because, and I exp that is my guess. Because it wouldn't be a good test unless you were blowing up the rocket. How else would you test getting away from an exploding rocket if the ro rocket doesn't explode in your test? So that would be quite cool. There's no set date for that yet that I know of. But I'll be keeping an eye out on the schedule for it. And it's something that I'm looking forward to, along with seeing Falcon Heavy fly again. And I'm also following um, some of the other companies that are doing other things at the minute. Um, a lot of the other companies don't seem to be as as active with their programs and as far forward, maybe, as SpaceX. And with the SpaceX stuff, I love the reusability and the idea that this... Should, they're trying to make it an everyday thing, spaceflight an everyday thing. And that's the thing that I like the most about it. But I am looking at Boeing and their um, crew module that NASA has um, also got um, going, or, or going to be going up to the space station as well. So it's all very interesting stuff to me. And uh, if you want to know more about that sort of stuff, um, if I remember, I'll put a link to the launch schedule website that I use I find it really good because I think it tells you in your own time zone as well. You can also see the streams on there and it'll get and it's, it's updated regularly. But also, um, if you're interested in this sort of thing at all, go subscribe to Scott Manley. Um, he is like, he seems like he's turning into the public's point of contact for um, for any sort anything space. Uh, and he also knows what he's talking about. Really knows what he's talking about. Sometimes he goes into great detail that most of you might not 
want to know, but it's there as well. Also, um, it's um, the Everyday, Everyday Astronaut um, recommend uh, him as well. They're both the two people that I'm, I'm subscribed to and watching a lot at the minute. Um, and of course, if for some weird reason you're not subscribed to me right now, please consider doing so uh, for more vlogs, uh, for all sorts of other things. I am planning on bringing back some of the stuff that I've done on this channel in the past, things like Hellish in the Kitchen. I'm thinking about bringing some of that back, and I've also got some new stuff coming. Um, but as always with my things, I'm very busy with many stuff. So I'm drilling things. I'm always, oh, look, I've got a big red button. There we are, I should have used that. There we are. Oh, I've just activated it now. Any explosions? No, no explosions. Um, well, <laughs> Um, well, there we go. I'm, I'm excited for what's going on, and I feel that we are going through a age of space exploration that we haven't seen for a long time. It does seem like it's really stepping up, starting to get into the public eye more again, and there's a lot of people that are getting behind this sort of thing. We are almost certainly going to have a second home in space in the coming years. Um, we've got the International Space Station at the minute in low Earth orbit. I reckon there's going to be one around the moon sometime soon. We may even have a presence on the moon permanently like we do on the International Space Station. Um, I would hope in my lifetime we may even start getting people on Mars. But I think I'm going to be pretty old by the time that happens. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see um, humans on Mars before before my time passes. But, um, yeah, lots of exciting stuff. If, if you know anything about this sort of thing, or if you follow anybody on social media that you think that I'd be interested in, please pop them down in the comments. And if you've got any questions that you think I can answer, I'll do my best. Pop them in there as well. But that's going to be all from me for now. Uh, thank you for hanging out and listening to me, and I will see you next time. Take care, and for now, goodbye. <laughs>